everyone. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk a little bit today about the importance of play of um, text flowing and also that um, InDesign does allow you placeholder text and why I choose not to use it. So we, we know um, placeholder text is called lorem ipsum and it is um, something you can generate on the web. We're just going to go open a website and we're going to do lorem ipsum generator. And again, I choose this way because um, I think it gives a more realistic um, experience. And I'm just going to choose one of these. Now, keep in mind, lorem ipsum is uh, not something you're going to be able to read. That's intentional. It's based on Latin. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the big boys and do 20 paragraphs. The reason why I'm going to do 20 paragraphs is because 20 paragraphs are going to um, allow me a lot of text and I want to make sure that we understand the importance of that, that text flow. Um, here is um, our text and you can see it's broken into um, it, it's broken into paragraphs for us. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go back to InDesign. Now I have a text box here already um, and I'm going to show you how to drop in text from InDesign. If you go to type down to fill with placeholder text, um, you can see that it doesn't give me um, extra text and um, you know we'll, I'll show you the difference right this minute. So I'm going to do another text box and I'm going to do three more right here so we can really get a sense of the importance of text flow. One of the reasons why text flow is so important is because if you're, for example, doing a book that's 250 pages and you don't change um, text to text flow, then what's going to happen is um, you are um, going to end up um, with um, a problem if any small changes need to happen. Let's say there are a lot of um, typos that need to be fixed. So that could change the flow. Let's say the client doesn't find the font uh, acceptable. Let's say the font actually turned out to be too large and you didn't notice it. Remember body copy, nine point type, nine point type, nine point type. Um, I'm really tempted to get a tattoo that says that. Um, so I can point it out. Um, if you if you do any of those things, if any of those things or you know many many others happen, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going back and editing each page again, which could take you a day, it could take you a week, it depends on how long. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to post that text. Now um, I have a little red. Um, button down here. You notice that I don't have that here because it just filled the amount of space that I asked for. It didn't give me more. So that's one of the reasons why I choose lorem ipsum so that I can flow this text um, and um, have it moving as much as I need. So I'm going to click on that and you're going to see that it's going to give me this little shape. I'm going to click on that next um, that next text box and then I'm going to click on that next text box and then I'm going to go into um, page three and four. I'm going to create a couple more text boxes until we end up with the end of our text. Anytime you're doing a book, a magazine, or a large publication where text might be moving from one to the other, um, this is critical for you to know. Ugh. Oh, I put it all the way down here. All right, let's just move our pages. There we go. All right, so I have my text box here. I'm going to go up to my arrow again. I'm going to click on that. Oops, it's going to give me my little thing. I'm going to move right down here. And then I'm going to click there. And I'm going to click right there. 
and we still have more so I'm going to click there and I'm going to click there we still have more so I'm going to click there and I'm going to click right there and then we're done so we have all 20 pages um, or all 20 um, paragraphs now this is our first column that we just did with that text flow um, if I do a select all you can see that that ends there if I come over to this next column and do a select all you can see it selected all of those now the first thing I did not do was I did not make my type nine point type right so I'm gonna make my type right nine point type and you can see that we went from filling um, three and a half pages to filling a lot less um, you know let's say that I change the font um, and you can see that it's here let's do that one more time um, well actually let's just do this oh you can see how much it it changed just in a, a change of font um, let's just scroll down these fonts and you can see how very different each of these fonts reacts because they're smaller or larger depending on the kind of font they are and so it can drastically change your text flow. This is something that future employers are going to be looking for. They're going to be looking for your ability to uh, handle software um, in, a, in an appropriate manner to understand text flow. Um, so this is critical. It's also critical, again, that we are setting our type at nine point type. Um, this is, you can see 12 point type. I didn't change this and this is nine point. Actually, this is a bold. So I'm going to, I'm going to choose something else real quick. I'm going to go for something classic like Baskerville. We know that we like, uh, oh, there's a Baskerville bold. We're going to go for a Baskerville regular. You can see how different the texture is here in the 12 versus the, the nine. Um, and Baskerville is 100% uh, an appropriate body copy text. So make sure that you're always, the first thing you do once you bring your text in and it's body copy, the first thing you do is change it to nine point type because it is a critical aspect of um, being a, a designer that understands, you know, the basics of strong graphic design. Um, I did not associate this with any class because this is important information for two classes. Um, but in InDesign, in um, Print 2, you'll be using this for your magazine. I will be looking for your text flow um, in packaging or in uh, publication design. I will be looking for this in your annual report. All right. Um, don't forget to think about whether you want a hard return between these guys or if you want to do a tab or just a hand tab, which sometimes I like to do. You can also set those um, independently, independently as well. Um, any questions, you know how to contact me. Thank you. Bye.